Hey everyone, welcome to Running the Ropes, a show where we review this week's 205 Live and NXT shows. <laughs> I'm Tina and this is Rem. And first we'll start off with 205 Live. The first match is going to be Jack Gallagher and surprise is the former Raw Smackdown <laughs> and NXT Tag Team Champion Chad Gable. Now is this part of the wild card rule? Or is this a just a one-off appearance just to make 205 look strong? But this is going to be interesting because he's a fantastic, fantastic wrestler. Speaking of strong, I like the way Chad Gable is looking right now. He's looking he really good, lean. Man. He got rid of the headband. He got a haircut. I'm interested to see what he can do. Yeah, I mean, the thing is that is he going to be successful in 205 if he's there to stay? I mean, he, we know how good he is with Jordan. Uh, Jason Jordan, also Bob Roode or Robert Roode, whatever he's you know, call these days, but again, as a singles wrestler, let's see how good he is. Yeah, more recently when he showed up on the main roster, he was kind of taken as a joke, but you showed me some of his matches like a couple years ago and I was really impressed, so yeah. I'm excited for him. Yeah, so we, one of the spots in the match, we had uh, Jack Gallagher had uh, Chad Gable in a delay suplex, which was about like, what, 15, 20 seconds? Or and, minutes. Yeah, I don't know, it was a long time, but it's actually surprised because of how little uh, or, you know, how how much smaller Jack Gallagher is compared to Chad Gable. And he brought him down, which is really impressive. Jackie, Jackie. <laughs> Jackie, Jackie boy. <laughs> so then, um, there's actually another spot where I really, really loved. It was the two belly to belly suplexes by uh, Chad Gable into a dragon suplex. And they showed in the replay, it was Chad Gable landing straight on his head. And I don't know how he's not been cussed or has neck problems after that, especially with the intensity that and wrestles. And he just kept going like it was nothing. Yeah, and then the match finished with a, um, well, Jack Gallagher was trying to do a suicide dive. Chad Gable was outside. And then um, he, Chad Gable caught Gallagher outside, did a released German suplex. And it just looked filthy. Chad, Chad Gable ran inside and Gallagher couldn't recover. And by the time he got to 10, Gallagher's at least half his body was outside, and Chad got the win with a count out. Poor Jackie Jackie. Poor Jackie boy. And we rated this match, we talked about it, a three and a half out of five. Um, just to let you know, this rating system isn't something like Meltzer's thing. It's just about how we enjoy the match, and you know, story wise, yes, and how things are sold, but this isn't like a prestigious rating. It's just how we enjoyed the match, so yeah. And I also want to add, not a lot of you may watch 205, but I actually saw um, Jack Gallagher wrestle live for the first time um, on SmackDown after Mania this year, and I was very impressed. I've seen a few of his matches on TV, and again, he, like other wrestlers, he was kind of taken as a joke, but um, I really enjoy his wrestling, and yeah, I would give this match a three and a half out of five. Yep. And the next part, we have a segment with the Canalysis talking to Drake Maverick backstage. And Maria basically is upset, and Mike is upset that they're not getting the opportunity they should be. Um, basically, you know, that should have been uh, Mike facing Chad Gable because he feels he's that damn good. Uh, so also, uh, Drake Maverick actually brought up uh, the, the statuses of the Canalysis, which is funny because there's actually a part on Twitter, I don't know if you follow Maria, uh, she talked about how there's three months left in the contract, just saying. So it might be them leaving, but it's interesting how much time they're being put on 205 if they know they're leaving. And I don't know how serious we should take this because months and months ago they squashed that rumor about um, being a part of AEW. So we shall yeah. see. We shall see. Yep. And then uh, shortly after we had a commercial and we had a Noor Noam Dar segment and they showed him get beat up uh, by, who was it? It was Drew Gulak. He injured his knee and Noam started complaining that you know, 205 is an unsafe environment, he'd rather be in NXT UK. And he's basically trying to call out, again, Drake Maverick for being a pretty crappy GM and saying that it's unsafe to be working in 205. So it's interesting how this whole 24 seven chasing R-Truth is gonna lead to uh, maybe um, Drake getting fired in 205. Getting fired and he was talking about how Drake was running 205, but if you remember the segment before, Maria was also telling Drake to worry about his own status. So what do you think this means for Drake? So I think Drake's going to win it, and then he's going to get fired from 205 because you can't be a champion and a GM at the same time, yeah. I think. Yeah. So hopefully, you know, they'll sort that out. I do like Drake as a uh, GM, but... He's funny as... <laughs> yeah, he's pretty funny, yeah. 
And uh, jumping to the next part of the show, we have the Singh Brothers beating the Dos Locales in a quick match with the Bollywood Bomb. I mean, it was a okay it was a match. Joke. It was a joke match. And then this eventually there's a promo leading to a Singh Brothers versus Lucha Brothers, Lucha Brothers, Lucha House Party <laughs> match. Hey, uh, so that should be, I don't know, it should be interesting. I mean, I'm not that sold with the Singh Brothers, but. Let's see if they can handle the Lucha Sunil House Party. CrossFit. <laughs> Overall, we give this match 2 out of 5. Yeah, 2 out of 5. It was, it was nothing. And then finally, finally, the main event of the night for the next 205 Live, 205 Live, uh, number one contendership. It is Oni Lorcan versus Akira Tozawa versus Drew Gulak versus Umberto Carrillo. To face Tony Nese. And it was... Who's Nice? Uh, Tony Nice. I know. Yeah. So it was an amazing match. Uh, from start to finish, it was just athleticism. So much wrestling, so much entertaining. And I always say this, 205 Live, even though SmackDown's a really good show, all the pure wrestling is from 205 Live. Seeing in person on. and even on TV. Mm-hmm. Yep. So Umberto, Umberto's athleticism, you wanted to talk about it. Yeah, so even though he didn't win the match, I feel like this was this entire match was his time to shine. And um, I also saw him live after um, SmackDown um, the week of Mania, mm-hmm. and I was thoroughly impressed, and I can't wait to see more of him. But Yeah, I mean, the thing is that he just doesn't have that... Uh, he has the wrestling ability, he has the athleticism, it's just that it's that one it factor yeah. where he takes the crowd's attention completely. Yeah, he's so, not ready for a title match yet. Mm-hmm. Um, he has a lot of room to grow, I don't know how he is on the mic. Um, his personality, I don't know anything about that yet, but um, as far as wrestling goes and how he flies in and out of the ring is very impressive. And you know, people are going to say maybe he should be a heel, which is your love to do for faces, but He's just a pretty boy. He looks like a little boy wrestling, but he's so good. But yeah, he I don't has a baby think, face. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think his uh, a heel turn would be ever good for him unless he goes with somebody like Andrade, who mm-hmm. I think should be leading mm-hmm. an LWO uh, type stable. But that's a different, different story. Um, but we're talking about the more of the match. There's actually a really weird spot where Tozawa had he had somebody on his shoulders and he couldn't put him up, and he did like an F5. No one ever called it, but it was kind of like he flipped them, and they both. It was weird. It looked like an F5. And uh, later in that match, you were really impressed with uh, Lorcan. I was. Yeah, you were. He did the half and half. Half and half, yeah. yes. On to uh, Umberto. Yep. And then, which transferred on to Gulak, but then Tazal went on top of the ropes and then jumped on him and did some type of elbow drop or something. Uh, it was a senton. It was a senton on his senton. back, but I don't see how like that. How you could not get hurt if you were... Uh, if you were only there because you're literally on pinning him and then you're taking it flat back on there but that was a really good spot and from there on the crowd just went crazy chanting 205 Mm -hmm. and you know it's the crowd the crowd really really loves 205 for people that stay Mm -hmm. and uh, I think that they should definitely get the attention of other wrestling fans out there Uh, for those people saying that uh, WWE doesn't have any pure wrestling I think they should definitely stick around and watch Fuel 5 on WWE Network or if you're a live in person. Yeah, and so far I've seen, you know, a few matches here and there mm-hmm. for 205 and the great thing about these matches is that there's no breaks in between. Like how you see on Raw and SmackDown, there's a lot of resting, there's a lot of crap talking, but on 205 it's just straight flying, wrestling, it's kind of like NXT for me, which I love. Yeah, yeah. So then um, later in the match, everybody's outside. Um, I think Oni does a suicide dive onto everybody, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, uh, Arya Davari hits Lorcan with a chair. Uh, they said that this continued on for last week's segment, and um, knocked him out with a chair, and then he just comes off and goes backstage. Random. Yeah. But then eventually the match finishes with a superplex from Gulak to Tozawa, but then it leads to a double pin. Who wins? We don't know. Everyone was trained for Tozawa. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll find out next week to find the true number one contender. Yeah, there's really no official. Yeah. Uh, there's no official winner, official decision about next week. Um, so my guess, yeah, my guess is going to be Tozawa against Gulak. Um, considering Gulak and Nisa's uh, history, that's my pick. I think it's going to be mm-hmm, them too. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we never know. And even Nice was saying that he wanted to face Tozawa anyway. 
Um, but I suggest you guys do watch the end of that match especially because it really is hard to tell who won that match. Um, personally, I do hope it's Tozawa in the end that um, becomes a number one contender. I would love to watch him face Tony East. Yeah, Tony East. I mean, Tony East is an athletic, super athletic guy. Yeah, Again, premier athlete. Premier athlete. And unlike, you know, just like a lot of the 205 talents, unfortunately, they don't have the charisma to be in the main roster, which kind of stinks, but again, wrestling, there's a story in 205. Uh, just like NXT, I think NXT just, there's a lot of people there, like the main people, of course, of course like Undisputed Era and everybody, the belt, um, you know, they all have the charisma with this. Again, there's a lot of people working on that, obviously. It's, it's developmental still, even though it's the better wrestling, but again, 205 takes the wrestling of the, wrestling of the night with SmackDown, so yeah. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed our first episode, our first week. Yep. Um, we hope to see you again soon. Yeah, so, and mm -hmm. uh... yeah, so look forward to more 205 Live reviews. Um, this is our first one, so we just want to get it out there, get out the kinks, uh, make sure that it comes out smoothly because this is our first like review. Like We watch a lot of wrestling. We watch a lot of shows, WWE, AEW, mm, um, NJPW. And then we're actually going to our first Evolve show, or Evolve, I guess, I don't know what you think, Evolve, yeah, event, uh, with, who is it again, who's going to be there? Oh, Undisputed's going to be there, um, so with Tommaso Ciampa Chumpa. for a uh, meet and greet. Um, it's going to be shortly before their uh, 15th anniversary show in uh, Philly, uh, which I'm kind of jealous of because you will see the original bro, the king of bros, Matt Riddle, I'm, I'm so high on that guy. Bro. Bro, and bro, then uh, bro. who else is going to be there? Uh, Johnny Gargano is going to mm -hmm. be there. Tozawa is going to be there. Mm -hmm. Gulak is going to be there. So it's going to be Everybody. yeah, a lot of people from NXT, WWE-ish, mostly NXT, mm -hmm. are going to be there. Um, but again, this is going to be the first of many reviews and discussions about um, 205 Live, NXT, and eventually if things run smoothly, maybe NXT UK. Uh, and if you guys have any questions, any discussions, uh, let me know or leave the comments in the video or even on the Facebook page that we have for our WWA group uh, Shout out to you guys out there for getting this thing started and uh, hope you guys see you soon Suggestions, yep. comments, everything is welcome. We thank you all for watching uh, We love you and that is undisputed Peace